Hello everyone, hope you had a wonderful Christmas. I'm Mike, this is Jay. And Christmas time is all about receiving the most beautiful, lovely, terrible gifts for us to review. Once when Michael turned around, he was excited or disappoint. You're happy to go with that? <laughs> it's the one we're going with. <laughs> Ta-da! A tiny bowl of Chris. <laughs> I'm not going to get anything from this, am I? Good crunch. Yeah. Mmm. They taste like a, a good, ready salted, Kettle chip. They're quite nice. Cue immense disappointment. In front of you, you have a festive flavour. Hand-cooked crisps. Luxury Christmas tree flavoured. What? <laughs> I've heard of these. I mean, if I read that, I'd think gimmick. Now having tasted it, I think gimmick. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have called it if I hadn't seen that. But it does smell a little bit more piney. For me, the smell of pine is used mainly in toilet cleaning products. <laughs> <laughs> and not necessarily something I want to eat. Difficult to get flavour into crisps at like full stop. So putting a new flavour in is difficult and putting such a subtle flavour in is a little bit ridiculous, but I'm sure they'll sell very well. They're so dumb. <laughs> They're so dumb. Would you pick up a bag? No. Oh, well. Maybe I'd be more intrigued. And I think I'm, I'm experiencing, and I would experience the same feelings that our audience are, which is they sound interesting and then immense disappointment after trying them out. How much would this set you back? Um, I think three pounds for the bag. I'm gonna say two pounds. Pound a bag. Still not worth it. Somebody buys them for you as a gift. Are you gonna keep it or re-gift them? Um, I'd re-gift them. I'm re-gifting this, <laughs> but anonymously. <laughs> turn around, turn around, Michael, turn around. When you get there, you will find food under the cloche. Woo. Christmas joy, Christmas joy, Christmas joy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, smokiness. What's arguably the favorite part oh, of a Christmas dinner? The roast potatoes, obviously. That's more iconic to a Christmas roast dinner that you might not have at other roast dinners throughout the year. No. No. Pigs in blankets? No, no. Pigs in blankets? Pigs in blankets tea bags. That is, these are so stupid. <laughs> Nobody wants to drink. Why do you want to drink a pig in blanket? A combination of Lapsang Sushang tea Okay, that's very delicious tea. Apple, nice pairing with pork. Can't smell that. Sage and rosemary. Fear not though, James, it's vegan. Oh no! <laughs> no! No! I wonder if you'd be better off getting a sausage and stirring it in some Yeah, <laughs> that might not be vegan. <laughs> if you gave me a cup of tea with just a long pig in blanket just floating in the top. You know what's coming next, yeah, don't I do, you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give it to me. Okay. I dislike it. But why is it called pigs in blankets tea? It just tastes like nice tea. It is pretty good. That. So the issue that I have here is that the sole usage that this is marketed at, which is pigs in blankets, that's pork, isn't anything to do with the final product. It's just the naming of it. You can't do that. You just can't do that. It's just clickbait, it's clickbait, but in real life. So I feel like it's clickbait. But in real life? Yes. You wouldn't be the first person to say that exact phrase. I don't believe in that as a product because I think it's false advertising. How much are they? I'm gonna say £2.50. Pound a box! It's fine, just... We're not, we're not, don't call it that. So these were gifted to us by Barry Lewis. We have now re-gifted them to you. Are you going to keep them or re-gift them yourself? I'll keep this, I'll keep this. I'll be re-gifting this. Last Christmas, we got you some gifts. 
ones and they were too good so this year we got you some bad ones turn around find out what they is maybe <laughs> it's something special Freddy's new year new me doesn't apply to you does it pow yay powder <coughs> i'm gonna give it a sniff i imagine that this is a christmasy spice blend oh it's a bit spicy Oh, there's some heat there. It tastes like white peppery or, or pepper. Christmas cake or carrot cake spice blend for a latte or something. I don't know. This, it's a rub. Is it a turkey rub? It's better than turkey seasoning. Oh, no. This is Brussels sprout dust. What? What? Our Brussels sprout dust is a unique rub to give some fantastic flavours to those sprouts that no one eats. This rub is easy to use and tastes amazing. You will no longer have any complaints about boring sprouts. Okay, okay, okay. So it's not the dust of Brussels sprouts. So it's like, let's roll it in glitter. <laughs> Basically, exactly. yeah. this is Brussels sprout glitter. So it's like, it's like, it's curry powder. If you've read what's on it, yeah. yes. <laughs> You'd like to try some in action? Of course. I'd like to do a before and after, is that possible? I just heard the microwave going up. Please tell me you didn't just microwave Brussels sprouts for me. Please, Ben. Come on, you're a chef. Oh, there's that ever familiar smell of Brussels sprouts. Okay, so this is before with nothing on. That's quite nice, I like them. I think they're all right, uh, they're not my favorite. Let's try them dusted in glitter. It's nice. That's still better than that. If you've got some curry powder in your cupboard, boom, put them on sprouts. How much would you pay for the spice dust? If it's more than a fiver, then Christmas is cancelled. If this is more than 79p, um, it's getting re-gifted. £3.50. Oh. So would you eat or re-gift re that one? That's just absolutely not worth it in my opinion. I'd eat it. Um, don't bother, I'm just gonna turn around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be bad. Christmas dinner, Christmas dinner flavored lip balm. So this is all about smell, surely. All about the baste. All about the baste, about the... It smells a bit fruity. Um, I was a bit worried about this when I first saw it, but having smelt it, it smells nothing like Christmas dinner. So like every other product we've reviewed, it's all in the, the title, and it's just going to be like that. Oh my god, it's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? What am I supposed to do? You keep it still and you move your head. <laughs> <laughs> Smells fruity, tastes like lip balm, probably works as a lip balm. Absolutely does not do what it's marketed at. So I think, get it out of my face. It like, what do you want me to say? It doesn't taste of anything. It just, it tastes like cherries. How much would you pay for a Christmas dinner flavoured lipstick that tastes of cherries? Nine pence. <laughs> As a lip balm, I would pay 60p for it. £2.50. That doesn't even come close. 2 50 That doesn't even come close to, to being what it's supposed to be. I think that's so bad. Sir so James. Are you keeping it or re-gifting it? Well, I, I kind of have to give it to Mike now. <laughs> I don't even want to be associated with re-gifting it, to be honest, because I just don't want it. If you want a lip balm, get a lip balm. Also, get it in a flavour that is nice. So I'm going to appeal to you to please lead us out on a high. <laughs> Here come the gifts, they're just for you. Please turn around. See what to do. There's an improvement. Okay. A board. Oh no! I think I already know what this is. Is it? Can I ask you one question? Is this a cheese board? <laughs> <laughs> In front of you, you have a dessert cheese board mint choc chip, cherry bakewell, gingerbread, and sour cherry with candied orange. In the shape of a star. They are all white Stilton based and they are all then flavoured to imply, taste, remind you of other desserts. Candied orange. Doesn't smell too cheesy for me. I think that does a bloody good job of that because I don't think that's horrible. As a mouthful, that's actually very pleasant. <laughs> this one certainly smells more cheesy. Oh, 
Oh, then. It's really good. Can't believe you're liking these. Yeah. That's because they don't taste like cheese. Move around to the gingerbread. Oh, I can't wait now. Smells very gingery. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> that looks grim. Hey. That smells like mint choc chip and I can't wait. <laughs> Tastes like cheesy ice cream. You know when you leave ice cream out of the fridge? <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> this what is not how this is mean? supposed to go. Really, do you not like it? James, how bad were the cheeses? The cheeses are by far the best thing, not only in this video, but that any any pretentious video we've ever tasted. The mint, the mint chopped chip is vile. No, it's not. It's lovely. The gingerbread leaves the weirdest aftertaste. That wow, is really nice. I like that. That's made me like cheese. I'm eating it because I'm so intrigued, but this is it's like everything you don't want when you bite into cheese. No, that is good. I think the cherry bakewell one is definitely the best one. But they're all brilliant. They're all really tasty. How much do you reckon they cost? No, I don't care. <laughs> You've given it to me. I'm keeping it. I'm not re gifting it. Do they like a fiver? They're between £2.50 and £6. I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. Right, so the scenario that I think this works in, clearly, that we have learned, is that as a non cheese eater, the cheese board comes out and you're like instantly like, oh, here we go, great. Nothing for me. No, have an after eight, thanks. <laughs> this repels the cheese lovers but the non-cheese lovers taste it and go, that tastes like mint chalk chip. Surely, this partnered with a real cheese board equals everyone's merry. I, I wouldn't want to inflict that on anyone. Do that one. It's just like a waste of time and <laughs> life and money. That mint chip cheese. I know. It's one of the worst things I've ever put in my mouth. <laughs> Eat or re-gift, what would you do? Gift or re-gift, list them out in the comments section down below and let us know what you thought of them. Also, give the video a like if you liked it. What kind of pizza do you order on Christmas? I do not know. Cheese's crust. Cheese. That's not Jesus. even a pun. Jesus. That's not even close Jesus. to... Jesus. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> and we will see you next Wednesday when we're coming back to you with another video. Is I've forgotten which one we're doing. Is that next year? That's, that's going to be next year. That's next year. A whole year away. Wow. As we mentioned, Sorted is just run by a group of friends. So if you like what we're doing, then there are loads of ways that you can support us and get more involved. Everything you need to know is linked below. Thanks, and we hope to see you again in a few days. You have to break all the rules to do this, but you get a Yorkshire pudding, fill it up with gravy, put a mini chipolata pig in blanket in it, and it's a pig in a blanket in a hot tub. <laughs> Heard it here first.